watching Fox 8 News. An annual fall tradition unveils this weekend. Art for Art's sake is expected to draw thousands of art lovers to Julia, Camp, and Magazine Streets. That's where the work of local artists will be on display in the city's hundreds of galleries and shops. Interior designer Chet Porsche is here with a preview. Good morning, Chet. Good morning. How are you? I am good. Thanks for being with us again and enjoy your regular segments, but you're here to talk about Art for Art's sake this morning. I am, I am. You know, Nakondra, what I like to do in my segments is to make sure that it's dealing with interior design. So what I want to tell the people out there is that whenever you're doing design or decorating a house, actually the art is actually the fine-tuning last step that you actually add to your house. So what I did is since it was Art for Art's sake, I decided to go around and find five local artists that actually would really work really well in anybody's house, whether your house is modern, contemporary, or transitional. The first piece is from this glass artist that is represented by Cole Pratt. This is Carlos Zevergon. And Carlos does these really amazing, beautiful bamboo sculptures, which if you follow Carlos's work, it seems to keep evolving and evolving. Once again, this is price point is fairly affordable, and I just think it will work into any type of environment. The next piece is from also from Cole Pratt on Magazine Street. Mm -hmm. This is the actual, help you want to hold it up? A little bit. Yep. This is actually the artist that's being featured this week at the Cole Pratt Gallery. This person is James Beard, and this is abstract painting. This comes from James' Things Left Unsaid. Really beautiful. I think the colors are so vivid. Once again, will work in any type of environment, whether you have a modern house or a traditional house. The next thing I want to talk about is a lot of people forget that jewelry is actually a piece of art. You know, most times jewelry, um, artists, jewelry artists like to call themselves artisans. Mm -hmm. And so what we have yeah. here is two really beautiful pieces from the Silby, Silby Gallery on Magazine Street. These are really beautiful pieces of art. This is by Susan Metasca and Jody Van Brocken. Really, really beautiful. It's Probably look really better. nice on you as well. <laughs> really beautiful. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, very affordable. Don't forget that jewelry is also a piece of art. The next thing we have here is from local artist and chef Mike Finley from Mike's on the Avenue. He does these really beautiful koi clay hand painted pieces. Can be used on a wall or actually just on a table as a sculpture. Another great artist we have is James Vela. Does these really beautiful bowls. Can be used for anything. On a great dining room table, on a coffee table on the side of your bed, you can put some fruit in it, you can just, you know, it's just a beautiful piece. And this is from James's Marbleized Glass Collection. This is probably one of my favorite pieces. This is from a great guy called Les Schmidt. And Les is represented by the Sean Christensen Gallery on Julia Street. Les deals in a lot of photography, black and white, very transitional, will work in any space. Les is calling this piece the, um, the Wood Pier series, um, the Wood, ser Wood Pier series, um, from his souvenir series. I just love this piece. All of Lester's work is really eclectic. It will work in any type of environment. And also this weekend at the Soren Christensen Gallery, Bradley Sapin is the featured artist who does a lot of pottery, just really beautiful stuff. Okay. So I always like to leave my segments with a DIY tip. And what I'm saying, my DIY tip for you this week is that if you are an artist or if you have a kid that's an artist, you can actually frame these pieces. I mean, what a great conversation piece it is. If your art or your kid's art's frame, it's just really effective and really cost effective and that's your DIY tip for this week. Well, thanks so much, Chet. And you know, we want to tell people exactly how they can participate in Art for Art's Sake really quickly. Art for Art's Sake is this weekend at all the art galleries. It's from six to nine. Julia Street, Magazine Street, um, the French Quarter. Go out and support the local artists. I think we forget about them sometimes, but we want to be sure that we're really supporting the art community. Well, thanks so much for being with us today. Dawn, we'll have a look at your forecast next when Fox 8 Morning News continues.